On April 20th, 2023, the Town of Town Police Department was contacted by the Springdale Police School Resource Officer in reference to conducting a welfare concern on a juvenile male who resides in Tonatel. The SPD SRO stated a male juvenile went to school with piercing in his left ear while sitting in class talking with other students and a teacher present. The juvenile male started, stated, stated his dad was drunk and put him in a chokehold and shoved the piercing in his ear. Town and town officers responded to the residence and contacted a male identified as Jeremy Sherland, the father of the juvenile male. Officers explained the reason for their presence and asked Jeremy about the incident. Jeremy admitted to piercing his son's ear. Officers attempted to investigate the alleged crime further but Jeremy refused to allow officers to speak with his son and refused to answer questions at this time. Officers left the resident without incident. Town and Town officers contacted the Washington County Prosecutor's Office to discuss the incident. Pursuant to Arkansas Law, Public Health and Welfare Chapter 27, Subchapter 15, Body Piercing, Branding and Tattooing. And two, a person shall not perform body art on a person under 16 years of age regardless of parental consent. Um, that's a lie because we looked up the statute and it says you can as long as it's an earlobe. So, it's legal. It is unlawful to perform body art in any unlicensed facility. See, they love to leave out the the parts that actually matter and it looks like they are just going off of hearsay they have not talked to the victim clearly and they are just taking what this school resource officer said and running with it what are y'all doing For what? Body art without a license. Guys, chill. What is really going on here? You got them? Yes, I got all of them. Guys, you're in the cameras. This is ridiculous. Piercing his son's ear without a license. Takes three cups, four cups. Coming into my house without permission. No permission. They busted in my front door. This is the boy right here. He got a pierced ear by his dad. These cops busted in my door. Busted in the front door. I wanted my ears pierced. Cuffs on this boy for nothing. It's a short one, but as we all just heard, the young man wanted his ears pierced, so I'm not really quite sure where the school resource officer came up with. He went to school and told everybody his dad was wasted and put him in a chokehold and uh, pierced his ear. Um, I'm not getting it. And even, I doubt the kid went to school and said that to the school resource officer if anything he might have just been trying to seem cool in front of his friends i don't see why or how but kids do weird things and um they went to the man's house and asked him if he pierced his ear his kid's ear and he said yeah and they asked to talk to his kid and he said uh no and they went back and got a warrant and as you will hear here it's for body art or whatever um and i show the statutes next and um this doesn't fall in it so what is it like it's just a big mess it pretty much seems like retaliation for telling them no they couldn't talk to his kid they go and 
write up some BS warrant um, and arrest him even though the kid's standing there saying no I wanted my ears pierced um, what else do they need uh, doesn't make much sense Tonatown, Arkansas. Viral video is circulating on social media of local police taking a man out of his house to arrest him for allegedly piercing his son's ears. You heard it right. In the video, you can hear the reason for the arrest being body art without a license. There are rumors online that the officers were with the Springsdale, Springdale Police Department, SPD, to which department responded saying, we are aware of viral video purporting purporting to be of SPD. The department is in the, the department in the video is of a neighboring jurisdiction. No Springdale police officers no Springdale police officer is involved in the incident posted online, said SPD. Trying to get away from it. That's what they're trying to do. Clear their name. The Tonatown Police Department, TPD, later posted a press release to Facebook confirming the officers were with their department and the reason for the arrest. In the press release, TPD says, on April 20th, the Springdale Police School Resource Officer reached out to them concerning the welfare of a male town of town student. According to the release, the resource officer told TPD that the student went to school with his left ear pierced and shared with his classmates that his dad was drunk, put him in a chokehold, and shoved the piercing in his ear. TPD says they went to the student's home to speak with the father, identified as Jeremy Sherland, according to the release. TPD explained to Sherland the officer... TPD explained to Sherland the reason officers were there and Sherlin admitting to piercing his son's ear. Thank God they solved the mystery. Tonatown police say they tried to investigate more, but Sherlin refused to let them speak to his son and further answer questions. Officers let the, left the home without incident after this, according to the release. So the man exercised his rights, told the police they could not speak to his child, and what did they do? TPD says officers then reached out to the Washington County Prosecutor's Office to discuss the incident where it was decided to charge Sherlin. Officers with TPD then went back to Sherlin's home to arrest him, but according to the release, he refused and stood by the doorway with his hands behind the door and wall after being asked by officers to step aside. TPD says this is when officers took Sherlin into custody. Sherlin is being charged with endangering the welfare of a minor, refusal to submit arrest, and obstructing government operations. No other information has been released. Well, why didn't they charge him with the, with the body art crime that they suspect him of? Oh yeah, because they can't. Bunch of idiots, dude. So they went out and charged him with endangering the welfare of a minor, which he didn't. He just pierced his ear. Which means he doesn't, the, the arrest is null. So he didn't do anything. He just didn't let you guys come and suck him up for nothing. This is the newest uh, code I could find to do with body art. Um, 2019 Arkansas Code Title 20, Public Health and Welfare, Subtitle 2, Health and Safety, Chapter 27, Miscellaneous Health and Safety Provisions, Subchapter 15, Body Piercings, Branding and Tattooing, 2027, 2, Unlawful to Perform Body Art on Person under 18 years of age documentation and consent now i've already read through this and uh yeah it all applies but it doesn't because anybody can pierce their kids ears um it states it in here but we'll go through it a person under 18 years of age shall not undergo body art unless a written consent 
is given by the person's parent or legal guardian. The parent or legal guardian is present during the procedure. The person who undergo body art and the parent or legal guardian each provide a valid government issued form of identification that includes a name, date of birth and photo. And D, the parent or legal guardian presents proof of guardianship that matches the identification given including without limitation a birth certificate or a court or state record for adoption, legal guardianship, emancipation, or a marriage license. The artist shall retain for at least two years a copy of a photo identification and proof of guardianship presented under subdivision A1 of this section. B. A person shall not perform body art on a person under 16 years of age, regardless of parental, parental consent, except when authorized or prescribed by a physician statement exclusively for repigmentation or when piercing the earlobe. Wow. So what's that say? It could be done on anybody 16 years or younger. But be careful. If you don't let the cops harass your family, they will go arrest you for piercing your kid's ear. It is unlawful to perform body art on the nipple or genitalia of a person under 18 years of age, regardless of parental consent, except for when authorized or prescribed by a physician, statement exclusively for repigmentation. D, it is unlawful to perform branding on a person under 18, 18 years of age, regardless of parental consent. Regardless of age, the person receiving the body art shall attest to the fact that he or she is not under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Printed and verbal instructions on the care of the skin and the body art shall be given to each person after the procedure and a copy of the instructions shall be posted in a conspicuous place in the body art establishment.